Hey there, this is Suicide Machine and this is like my fourth attempt at trying to record this. Uh, previous three were well, not quite successful. Third one was pretty alright, but I've started talking way too unclear. So this is like my another attempt at it. Hopefully this time it's gonna <coughs> make things more clear. So probably if you ended up in here. Oh yeah, uh, before we start, uh, I'm doing this on the virtual machine, well, not virtual machine, I'm doing it on the uh, team viewer because I don't have the game. This is an issue I was sorting out for my friend, uh, well, because he's, well, he bought the game, like a retail copy, and he, he had problems, started trying to run it, and uh, I asked him first to share uh, files, well, to send a list of files on, which are on a disk and then I was trying to somehow figure it out and then finally I asked him if he can install TeamViewer and I asked him if I can try to work this issue out while he is at work. So yeah, I'm kind of using his PC now, which is not very nice, but uh, yeah, I just want to show this issue off and hopefully he won't mind this this whole f nonsense. Thanks for writing on Skype, I'm gonna respond in a moment. So yeah, if probably what you ended up seeing, if you ended up in here, or maybe you're just curious, is with retail you're gonna end up well, there is a fair chance you're gonna end up with error like this, which is like a, basically a file missing yada yada yada. And the source of this issue is like really trivial, which is this file, d3d11.dll, which is a direct 3d11 runtime library which should not be on this uh, disk and it should pretty much never be shipped with any kind of application. The reason for it is these files are taken from your system, from Windows, either from System32 or I think it's System WOW64, something like this. And when it comes to like 64-bit uh, uh, libraries, but yeah, this is something I would like. This this mistake, it's not even something I would call amateur. It's like um, I just I'm just lacking words. Why why the fuck is this file here? This file should never be, end up in here. And this file is basically causing the, all of these issues because. There are differences between uh, systems and this file is not gonna work on all of these systems and I'm guessing pretty much on none of the um, on none of the versions of Windows 7 and maybe even 8 I don't know which, from which file uh, from which system this file was taken from but this file, th it's just this this application is not gonna work, like because it's gonna be using this D3D11 instead of the f the D3D11 which is in your system because that's how it works. The application first look inside of its um instead of uh, inside of its working directory and then if the file does not exist then they check. Uh, I think. These are the li the folders which are specified in the system path. Anyway, enough nonsense. Uh, so yeah, this is a way to try and well, this is a way to work work around it because as as you probably know, in retail you don't get um, you don't get a Steam key straight away you get a, like a serial key which you run through this program it checks your disk and then if you, if the disk is fine and the serial is is fine then it's gonna be 
uh, then it's gonna return um, your Steam key, which you can register, which is absolute nonsense. Not to mention this game is uh, secured by uh, Denuvo, so uh, this is just like absurd amount of uh, of like additional DRM. And as my friend from PC, well, uh, as my friend on PC Gaming Wiki stated, all uh, right, shoutouts to people from PC Gaming Wiki who are very helpful in. Uh, helping me sort this thing out. Um, yeah, as he stated, like, what is he su he will what is he supposed to be doing then if he does not no does no longer have a disk drive in his PC because it's kind of a thing that is going obsolete by this point because of a digital distribution. So, yeah, well, whatever. Enough complaining, let's just go to, to a solution, right? So, the way around it is you basically create a new folder. Then you take your files from a disk, which is this, this. These are like two BMP files, but it's gonna, they are not needed, but yeah, otherwise the program returns an error. It runs, but it returns an error, so no. Then we're gonna take uh, redeem.exe, which is an application file, and you're gonna get... And you're gonna get uh, this one, which is a configurator file for this program. And now, if you run it, Then you're gonna be greedy with this, and you would think this is it. Like that at this point, it that at this point it would work, but no, it's not um, not gonna be enough because the program, even though the program checks for all of the optical drives that you have, it's not gonna. Mm, it's not gonna be scanning the files, it only checks for files inside of uh, its working directory. So now that I copy these files, uh, these four files, its working directory is this. So it's not gonna, f it's gonna claim that the, um, that CD basically of a game is invalid. So we have to make it work in this directory, well, basically on uh, this optical drive. But uh, we have to make it uh, so it's still like we don't. It, we have to make it so it still doesn't load this file because yeah, it's it's just not gonna start. So the way around it is. We're gonna make a shortcut for this redeem.exe. We're gonna go to properties, and here there's like a start in, or maybe it's called uh, working directory. I'm not sure how it's because some of the translations are like really uh, not straightforward. So we're gonna take this path, which is a path for your uh, drive, and it may be different, but for uh, for my friend it's I, right? I, this one, and, it's gonna, uh, and we're gonna post it in here, like replacing starting, but the, um, like the target, it's gonna be still uh, this file on the hard drive, but it's gonna start in this directory, and now, if we do it and start to with a shortcut and type in one second and type in the uh, serial key uh, A 
we're gonna click this then finally now after it's done checking uh, disk and connecting to a server it's gonna return in our steam key which we can use so this is a way around it and I hope I made it clear enough how it works and if you're still pissed then with all means please do um, go complain to Square Enix because this is this additional layer this redeem this redeem well this redeem basically thing it's not supposed to be even in like it's a PC game it's released on Steam it's not supposed to be like additional program in which you type in your serial key to get your Steam key I know they want to fight stuff like GTA because it's they, they're losing their money but this is pure bullshit like not only they require you to have a disk in your optical drive they require you to type in um, basically a serial key and from that finally maybe you can get your steam key so yeah that's it see ya